Today we're going to demonstrate body organizations, which is part of Bartinieff's principles. The information shared here is from the Laban Bartinieff Institute of Movement Studies and presented by ACC Somatic Movement Education Training Program. It states that patterns of bodily organization underlie the movement experience of breath, core distal, head tail, upper lower, body half, and diagonal, and can be used to enhance functional concerns. The patterns in our body evolve from an inner dimension, like our breath, through to three dimensions out into the world, supporting human connections of self, self to others, and self to our environment. Breath, organizing movement from the whole body growing and shrinking, simultaneously lengthening, widening, and bulging, or shortening, narrowing, and hollowing. Using the rhythm of filling and emptying the inner body as a source of initiating movement through the whole body. This is the foundational organization for all other movements. Core distal, organizing movement from the center of the body between the six directions of the head, tail, arms, and legs. It initiates movement from the body's center towards the periphery and vice versa. Head tail, organizing movement through the relationship between the head and tail with both ends working in an integrated way. This organization asks the head and tail to be in constant conversation with one another. It is responsible for curving, extending, rotating, and stabilizing the spine. Upper lower, organizing movement through the relationship between the upper and lower body. The mechanics of upper lower allow for level change in the body for the beginning of locomotion. Body half. This organization splits the body down the vertical midline and invites a stability-mobility relationship along body halves, with one condensing or stabilizing and the other expanding or mobilizing. This allows for balance between body halves, exploring symmetry and asymmetry, and continues along the path towards locomotion. Diagonal organizes movements three-dimensionally. It's the most complex pattern. It builds upon all previous organizations and depends upon all of them functioning efficiently for diagonal integration. It offers connectivity of the body quadrants and allows for increased stability mobility between body parts and complex muscular integrity. Diagonal organization is necessary to follow kinetic chains and allows for possible movement pathways. It prioritizes movement three-dimensionally. <laughs>